Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to be reviewing a, another mini PC. This is also from Camerai. Uh, this is the E3B mini PC. And what we're going to do is, uh, as always, I have something I want to use it for. And so I'm going to share that with you. And yeah, let's, let's get started and, and see what this is all about. All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the Camry E3B Mini PC. So the first thing I want to do, let's, let's unbox it and see what comes with the machine. As you can see, what's actually included is one E3B Mini PC, one HDMI cable, one power adapter, one user manual, and a Visa mount and the screws to mount it. So, yeah. So you can put this behind a television set or a monitor if, if you wish. Uh, the specs for this machine is it, it uses an AMD Ryzen 5 7430U CPU. Uh, the max uh, boost clock is 4.3 gigahertz. I think the actual clock is around 2.3 or so gigahertz. There's six cores, 12 threads, and... Now, according to AMD, the TDP is 15 watts, but according to Camaru, it's 28 watts, so we'll go with that. That's the max uh, TDP. Also, uh, the, there's uh, AMD Radeon graphics, of course, built into the chip. It has a 1.8 gigahertz GPU with seven cores. Uh, it allows for up to 2 gig of max uh, shared memory. Of course, it shares your system memory. Uh, and it will generate a, a UHD output 4K at 60 FPS. What ports does it have? Uh, it has, uh, on the front, it has the power button. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports. That's 10 gigabits per second. And the USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port, which does data transfer and 4K uh, at uh, 60 uh, hertz uh, video output as well. On the back of the unit, there is a DC in uh, for your power supply. There is an HDMI 2.0 port, also supports 4K uh, 60 hertz, and a DPI 1.4 that's also 4K at 60 hertz. There is, excuse me, one RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, that's, that supports from 10 megabit up to 1 gigabit of, uh, of speed. There are four USB 3.2 Gen, Gen 1 Type A ports on the back. Internally in the machine, you have two M.2 ports. One is for, on the left, is the SATA port. The one on the right is the uh, SSD, and that is a PCIe 3 port. Uh, it does have dual channel DDR4 uh, memory, and that is, of course, sodium. Can put up to 64 gig of, I, of memory in the device, and up to 2 gig of, of uh, SSD storage on the PCIe 3 as, as well. It comes with a half, half of, well, as it says here, it comes with 32 gig of memory. Uh, at DDR4 and uh, the storage it has a 512 gigabyte M.2 SATA SSD and it also comes preloaded with Windows 11 Pro which we'll be looking at too uh, and of course uh, the Ethernet is one gigabit and Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth supports 5.2 other specifications for the machine is that, uh, yeah, it has a triple display. The physical dimensions is 12.8 by 12.8 by 14.13 centimeters or about 5 by 5 by 1.63 inches. Not a, not a particularly big footprint, but uh, yeah, nonetheless... It's 1939, single core, 7302. Pretty respectable for a six core. That's not too bad. Let's try the GPU. 12,695 on Vulkan. Let's go see what it is on OpenCL, just for the heck of it. Uh, let's go ahead and look through this first and see what the... Yeah, nothing changed there for the hardware spec. 
this might change though because the benchmark could be different for OpenCL. The GPU. Go. Let's take a look. Thirteen. Eh, it's a little faster with OpenCL. Thirteen seven oh seven. Very respectable. And let's see if the. Let's see. It. Nope. They're the same. I wanted to check and see what kind of a BIOS this machine has. And it looks like it's a fairly complete BIOS. Uh, it is telling me my memory is running at 2667 megahertz, 2.6 gigahertz, gigatransfers per second, actually. Uh, and it is DDR4. Um, it's telling me the BIOS information and the date it was last updated, which is pretty fairly recent. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, we have full control over the TPM. Unusual today. Well, I wouldn't say full control, but we have more control than you normally get. That's good. Hyper-threading is enabled. SVM is enabled. So I could use this as a virtual machine host. Network stack, uh, that's for a UEFI network. NVMe not found, of course. Power management. Okay. We have C, uh, we have C, we have S3, S4, and S5 support on the wake up LAN. That's memory channel. Secure boot is set to custom. Let's see. I need to set this to USB. Yeah, and we'll save that. Yeah, maybe. Nope. <laughs> it did not like that. Yeah. I should go in now. Nope, it's Endeavor. Okay. There we go. All right. No, nope, it's KDE. That's fine too. Shouldn't be much to update, I wouldn't think. Twenty ten and seventy seven ninety one, pretty comparable to Windows. Uh, yeah, it's as I re we'll we'll look at them side by side when I bring this up so that yeah you can see them in comparison. Now the other thing is the Foronix Test Suite Bench marks places the Camrui E3B Mini PC in first place among the other machines of this class I have tested. All in all, it is a very impressive device and can be used as a Windows or Linux workstation. Linux server, NAS server, or even a mid-range Proxmox server. So I guess uh, I guess in in summary, uh, is this machine a good candidate for an NFS server for Proxmox? Absolutely. Uh, there's there's nothing on that I'm going to be doing that's going to be using the NFS file system as the you know where I store my 
my local drives for my guest OS's, all I want to be able to do is back up the VMs and also to host uh, the templates that I need, the ISO templates that I need to uh, build out new versions of Debian or Dev1 or whatever I am trying to work on and test and show you guys what's going on. So, yeah, I, I think I think that this machine it has many uses, but I'm just sharing my use case with you. So. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye for now.